Welcome back everybody, another episode of the wonderful world of Aluna. The plan had been to start building in this episode, but plans changed. Spent a lot of time looking around for the optimal building location and I couldn't find one. And then I was told about the um, travel center, which is just below spawn here. And this has all sorts of cool stuff. There's a public mine, public farms, world net, arena games, spawning travel centers. Uh, I think we're going to go to the public mine first off here. Don't build here, it's just for mining, only digging the underground and the tunnels. Never surrender. Okay, if this is a mine, why is there... Oh, wow. Dude. Dude. Okay, this is like a legit mine. Like this. Wow. That is really cool. Let's see what's down here. Alright, so it's just a big, uh, a big underground hole, pretty much, which I guess we would expect for a mine. Uh, you know what? I could just grab some cobble here. I just really would like to have somewhat better tools than the wooden tools I have uh, in my off-camera exploring while I was looking for the perfect location. Uh, I died a few times. And in so doing, of course, I lost my items. So... I would like to get some new items and get myself back in better shape so I can more easily defend myself. All right, tin lumps. I don't think tin lumps are really gonna do me any good here, but we are definitely gonna make that and I'm gonna throw that out right away. The wooden swords are garbage. Stone's not much better, but at least it works. Um, this is probably a waste of time here. But I kinda wanna grab these metals. I don't know if these are both tin. I know there's some any coin, or I don't remember what it was called coin base or something. Well, that looks like a deep hole that I'd fall in and die. Okay, let's let's climb back out of here. Using the old shift sneak jump glitch to jump those two spaces there. You just hold the shift key while you're jumping and it'll let you jump two notes high. It's kind of a bug that's existed for like ever and has just never been fixed for one reason or another. So, yeah, it's a handy little thing to know. Can, uh, can really make getting out of some kind of tight situations a lot easier. Okay, so it's a pretty cool public mine. Obviously, there's a, a lot more climbing around and exploring underground here I could do. But that's really not my big concern right at the moment. I'll end up uh, putting in my own mine wherever we end up really going in and settling down. I do like how they have these little carts set up and everything. This is, this is nice. So this is good to know about if you need to just go out to a mine someplace and collect some materials. So, nice little benches and a fire there very nice looking all right well let's go back um, I could visit the public farm again but eh, I'll just deal with not having stuff uh, the big thing I actually wanted to look at public warehouse there's nothing there to link to the outside things are all different people's locations we're not going to look at any of those ourselves in this video, but obviously you are more than welcome to do so. 
uh, you know, at your leisure in your own time. Uh, this is what we want. Real net map gen v7. Yeah. Deep hollow? I really don't know. It's v7 map gen, which I like. Um, yeah, we've got someone, some stuff built right there. Let's try, um, let's do border southeast. See what we have here. Okay, well, I see right off we have a long bridge, which fortunately did go all the way over. I half expected it to not. Poor bear there is freaking out. I don't know why, but he is. Um, that edge, I think, is from the map gen switching. And so the two map gens don't both use the same noise pattern. And that gives you a different, pretty much, block edge where they just really do not match well at all. Uh, someone's got something built here. Which is fine. I just need to travel further then. Looks like I'm going into a jungle. Kind of hard to tell because it's so dark. Do we have walking? Light? No, we don't. Oh, yes, we do. Uh, let's just try to navigate through this jungle. Jungles are super easy to navigate through during the nighttime. One of my favorite things to do. Okay, kind of out of the jungle, but going back into a jungle. Should be coming up on a desert, according to the mini map. Which, yes, means those stupid desert monster guys. The Sandmen. They're relatively harmless. You can usually outrun them. And with sprinting, I think you can definitely outrun them. Just have to be careful that you don't use up all your sprinting power. And then, yeah, kind of get in a deadlock where you can't run anymore and they up and kill you. So that's just one of the little things you have to be cautious of with your sprint is to not use it all up. Okay, well, if it was uh, a little later in the day, ah. Morning is coming. I have a huge wall here. That is not good. That's a dead end. That's gonna... Gonna not be a good thing for me. Um... Yeah. Does this just go... Okay, this is another edge of the map, I think. Sure looks like it. That's really high. But it opens here. Hmm. Oh, and there's some coral and stuff under there. Can I sprint in water? I can. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Wow, giant slime. This almost looks like it's map gen V7, just because of the formations. It's reminding me of V7, which is good, because I actually I did want to get to some place that had V7. So I may just wait. Why am I not grabbing those? Inventory is full. Well, here, let me change these twigs to sticks. Boom. Now I can pick up that wood. Not much point to harvesting a tree if I don't take the wood. Now, per the rule, Ooh, what is that? Per the rules... If you har- I think this is coin base. Yep. If you harvest a tree, you are supposed to replant a sapling for the said tree. 
Um, I don't know how much of a hard rule that is when you're clearing an area to build. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna ignore it and uh, not plant a sapling in the same spot. Now, of course, the rule didn't say it has to be planted in the same spot. So I guess you could really plant it anywhere. Just uh, you know, plant a new tree and get more wood. So. And then we'll see if I get any saplings from that. I don't think I did. Okay, this, with the exception of being totally full of trees, this is actually the perfect spot. Or that side. Or... That's really narrow, though. But I could put a bridge across. Yes, a bridge across. I've got a steep edge, which spells excellent fortification, because you can't really just sneak up unaware. I don't even know if PvP is enabled on the server. Okay, pretty much straight edges. I'm loving this. This is perfect. This is exactly what we need. Sorry, chicken, I just stole your egg. Um, unfortunately, it is really full of vegetation. So that's going to spell a lot of removal. But that is okay. First things first, I will remove this dirt right here to kind of flatten out the area. Um, and I'll still probably put a wall even on the water edge. But that'll be, that'll come with time. Uh huh. <laughs> First things first. So, like, the fortress will go up on this end, I'm thinking. I need, like, just a little woodsman's hut or something to start off with. So, let's go kind of far away, but not too far. Thinking maybe, like, right here on this edge. IRL, that's probably a a horrible place to build because of foundations, but whatever. Oh, wait. Ooh. Ooh. I am... I'm in sad shape here. I don't have my craft book anymore. Oh, great. Great. That's horrible. That picture <laughs> is too. That's not what I meant. Oh boy, I have no idea. Hmm. Like the basic things I know. But all of the advanced things, I have no idea. Like, I wanted to build cool things. I don't think I'm going to be able to, though, because I don't know how. Wow, I did not really expect that to work. I have to be near water, though. Well, that's a problem. I don't have any ground that's near water, other than sand. Sand is not going to grow plants too well. So I have a few options. Throw down some dirt here. Not like that. Like that. Yeah, that can go away. I don't know if that would have died by itself. It may have. I don't know. I'm just going to put in a small garden. Mainly because I only have a small amount of items that I can plant. What do I have anyways? I have carrot seeds. Let's go ahead and plant those. I have tomato seeds. So let's go ahead and plant those. Nope, I want to plant. And what's this? Rhubarb seeds? Yeah, I guess I'll plant two of those. Alright, well that's my garden. 
for the time being. I'll probably snoop around and find some more of those berry bushes and collect those and pull them together. Um, where was that little corner now? Was it here? No. Huh. <laughs> I lost it. Where was I going to? Ah, right. Was it here? No, it wasn't there. Um, here it was. Here it was, slash is. I'll throw a torch out for the time being. Hmm. Well, I don't really have too much to work with right at the very moment. So I guess I'm just going to start off with a super basic, super plain and boring little house here. Like I said, it just, it's the start. So it can be improved later. It's really just to keep out the bad guys during the night. So I'm gonna need a door. Should put windows in it somewhere, probably. But I don't know if I have any sand. Oh, oh a trap door, I bet. Wooden door. It's actually a really nice texture. Nice. Uh, let's pick that torch up, throw it on the back wall right there. And I guess I'll throw the, the furnace there and the chest here. Got some coal lumps, tin, silver. I think I can cook eggs. Yes, okay. I'll eat those because I assume those are going to give me a decent amount. Yeah, Not horrible, but not amazing. Let's see what these carrots do. Same thing. Alright. I just don't want to starve to death out here. First day in. Let's throw all of this stuff I don't really need to carry with me in that chest. It's not a locked... Oh, it is a locked chest. Oh, well. In that case, let me throw this coin base and these metals in there too. And that, and that. And that. I don't really know why I'm worried about bones. They're pretty useless. Fried eggs. I will keep those on me. Desert sand. Not something I want to build with. Just kind of reorganize some items here. All right. I'm thinking the roof is going to have to be dirt. Which is kind of lame, but it's what I've got to work with right now. So it's going to have to work. Okay, the first thing I really need to do is get a new crafting book. Which, I don't even know if that's possible. Yeah, this is an amazing looking house. That is complete garbage. <laughs> it really is. Oh well, that's alright. It's a, it's a start. Um, What would you make a crafting guide out of? I feel like paper, probably. Which means I need papyrus. Papyrus would normally be on the water's edge. I do like that these chickens are just laying eggs everywhere. That's helpful. No, I want the egg. Yes, the egg. Papyrus. I don't see any papyrus. See, my plants are growing over here. That's good. I hate this water. It's so slow, so I'm just going to sprint across it. Sun is going down, and I see no papyrus. That's not good. Because I need papyrus to make paper. And I'm 99% sure I need paper to make a crafting guide. Assuming that can even be made, I guess I don't even know for sure. Hmm. Well, let's, uh get back up into this house here if I can figure out how to these leaves all get in the way there we are all right well we're gonna call it a day and I will do some uh, 
some research off camera. See if I can't build myself a new crafting guide. I may have to log in as a new user just to get a crafting guide to then look at the crafting guide to see if I can make a new crafting guide because there's a lot of cool nodes and stuff available but I don't know how to make them yeah that's just yeah well catch you guys next time and hopefully there'll be a little more building going on then and a little less well there won't be any wandering around because I have found the location to build so other than wandering around to get materials there won't be a lot of wandering around so yeah i will see you guys then